hello welcome to this tutorial i'm always dimba and today i'm going to show you how to create an assembly from a structural model and generating assembly drawings from the same model and we'll just get started right away if you take a look this is where we are before and uh, we want to create an assembly of this truss so that when we go to site once everything has been welded in the workshop so this will be carried se separate and this one will be carried to site separate now if i press alt here and select this section you'll find everything getting selected and this is how it will be welded in the workshop and be carried to site for assembly purposes now everything on this side is selected plus the plate here now i want to show you a way on how you can assemble this together or how to create an assembly from a model you just pick the part that you want to assemble together and generate a drawing from them so it is it is a pack that separate from from the other like in this case i want to just to check whether this also is an assembly so i'll press alt on my keyboard then select any part of it and you'll see this getting selected now i want to show you that how to do that to create an assembly you pick the parts that you want to make into assembly or put into assembly you you, you select the parts press control then select all the parts that you intend to make into an assembly or to, to join as an assembly then press control first and select all the parts that i intend to make or to put into assembly I'll select all this. I'll select every part that I want to be included, uh, that I want to be part of an assembly. I'll select that and select that one and select on this. So, once I've selected the part that I want to include in my assembly, just leave one component. Then uh, right click on the p on any part that you've selected. Then scroll down and pick Add to Assembly. Select on that. Then pick the part that you've not selected and you'll just click that one and everything will be added into assembly. Then click on empty screen. So to check whether your, your assembly has been created, you just press alt and check that and you'll be able to see an assembly has been created. So you see this one is selected and this uh, this side has not been selected. Or if you want to select both, both you need to press alt and control. In this case, I'll press alt and control. So if I select that, everything gets selected in this side. In, uh, I mean this way. Now, from here, I want to create a drawing of one section of this of this truss. And uh, this will be a mirror image of the other one. So there's no need of even uh, generating a drawing for this. Once I'm generating a drawing for this one, I'll, I'll create uh, a mirror image or a, a replica of the same. Now, let me go ahead and click and press my alt on the keyboard then press and uh, then click any part of that. So, once I've done that, I'll just right click. The simplest way of, of creating a drawing, just right click and come to create drawings. Then click assembly drawings from here. Yeah, then just go, go ahead and click on that. You'll be prompted to perform numbering. Just go ahead and click perform numbering by default and uh, numbers will be formed or will be created. So once that has been created, we just go straight to drawing list or press control L and we'll go straight to drawing list. Then double click on that and give it some time to load the drawings that has been created. We just minimize that and here is our drawing in place though it's doubled up and uh, you you need to comb it neatly so that you, you you remain with whatever you want so in this case we'll get rid of this because we don't need this one this this is the top view as you can see it's the bottom end so what we will do we'll just click on this and drag that bring it inside there let me press ctrl z so we don't need this this is a repeat of what we have so we'll get rid of that we'll get rid of this also and we'll, we'll remain with only what we want or what we need
let me click on that and drag inside and you can also see the total weight of our trusses and plates you can see everything inside here under assembly materialist this is how it looks i haven't touched anything though i need to comb it and remove whatever i don't want so i'll go ahead and remove ev ev anything that i don't need i just click on that and get rid of whatever of what i get rid of everything i don't need unnecessary dimensions just get rid of that just get rid of that just get rid of every, anything that you don't require just get rid of that everything get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that though I'll I'll create another one that will will help you so much in uh, instead of doing all this my, uh, editing your drawing I'll show you on a way you can clone your drawing you just make uh, a st your standard drawing then you just clone this to copy or to be similar to the type of dimension or annotation of your choice now let me just pull that on into into the box or we can double click here and uh, rescale this we can give it uh, we can give it 20 20 is extremely small or we can give it 50 50 will be okay extremely small 15 let's try 15 and 15 is it's okay overall okay then this one also we can change to 15 perfect so you just close this then uh, click on that and drag pl place it somewhere there and uh, drag that and place it somewhere there you can see so this is the plate these are the plates that, that connect the two trusses. So you can double click on this and change change it the way you want it. Maybe you don't need the part list or you don't need uh, that. Then you just come to general here and change the call out and uh, give it a line there and give it an arrow here. Just give it an arrow and give it an arrow right there. We just need an arrow, nothing else. And click OK. So this is how it will look. And maybe you don't want to, you don't like how the, the bolts looks like. And you can give it a different look like that. And that's how it, it will look on your drawing. Maybe you want to change the text style and text appearance you can change the color right there you can come to fonts there and uh, give it a different one maybe you need something different you just scroll and pick any type of your any type of text let me type text of my choice Maybe romance is okay or aerial and pick on that and pick regular and click OK and uh, we are good by clicking modify and this is how it looks now. You can do the same things to all the text and remove anything that you don't need. We'll remove that and just do and just do a fresh one. Maybe I want to dimension that and maybe I want that. I'll, I'll bring it, I'll bring it close so that you can see whatever I'm talking about. This one here, the horizontal and and the vertical dimensions can be used. We just click on that, then go back and just dimension that, that like that. Double click on the final point, and you just drag that in, into that position. The question mark you are seeing maybe is means that. 
you, we, we have not snapped accurately on the positions. So though that's why the, uh, the, the purple question marks are in place. So I just drag that into that spot and I change. I try to change the text there. I'll select on that and change change the color to maybe black and maybe I want to change. I want to change the font. You just select on that and give a different font, maybe Arial right there, and that's it. Give it Arial. Come to regular and click on that. Then click OK. It has changed apply and accept same thing here we can now uh, place our dimensions here place our dimensions we just uh, you just uh, scroll up and come to uh, drawing and uh, either pick vertical if you uh, we want to take a vertical dimension or you are di you are your, di your dimensioning is uh, is horizontal so you need to pick either of these for you for the dimensioning purposes now once that has been done just pick that and maybe you want to take a measurement from that spot and all the way to the other end and you want to take this and uh, from there just double click from the end point and you'll have your line in place like this one and you can also change the text though it has picked our default font and also you can change the text height here by coming to appearance and maybe you can give it five and you can also change that to three and that's how it looks apply and accept and this this now how it will appear on your drawing and delete any unnecessary dimensions that you don't need and now let's do uh, a free dimensioning so we'll come here we'll come on on, uh, on free dimensioning here just on top there you can see that you can pick on that then you, you go ahead and start doing your dimensioning double click at the end here click on that then go all the way to the far end and double click on that on that spot and check whether what you, you what you you've seen is what is exactly what you wanted so i'll select on this text and drag it up slightly to a position of my choice i'll place it right there i'll place it right there and that's how it is done and that's how to create an assembly and creating assembly drawing from assembly you've just created and that's it for today Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm Morris Dimba and uh, let's meet then on the next.